Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we would be discussing the solution of the problem even and odd. So, in this problem, we are given an array of size n containing equal number of odd and even numbers. Arrange the numbers in such a way that all the even numbers get at the even index and all the odd numbers get at the odd index. And it is showed that zero best indexing is considered. So let us first try to do it. And if they are told that if there are multiple so solutions, because see, the it might be the case that the even number at the current position is this and the even number at the current position is this. But if you swap them, this is also a solution, that is also a solution. And it is told you can give either of the solutions. So first we have zero, then we have one, then we have two, then we have three, then we have four, and then we have five itself. So now let us move to the first part. See, this is even, but this is odd. So now we need to find the odd position where even is located. So yes, we have. Then what we would do is we would write here three, and we would write here six. Now odd, odd, even, even. Then we even, even. Then this is odd, this is odd. This is even, and this is odd. This is odd, this is even. So we can write here 8 and we can write here 5. This is one of the valid situations. Okay, so now the most easiest solution you can think of is you can make a uh, two vectors. One is named as even and one is named as odd itself. Now what we would do is you would take up this sample test case. You can take up the sample test case. Take up 3. 3 is what? 3 is odd. So we would take up that number and we would write it here. Then the next number is 6. 6 is even, so we would take up and insert it in here. Then it is 12. 12 is even, so we would write and take up it and write it here. Then it is an odd number, so we would write it here itself. Then it is 5. 5 is an odd number, so we would write it here. Then it is 8. 8 is an even number, so we would write it here. Now what we would do is, we would have the first number as 6. Then we would have 3. Then we would again have 12. Then we would again have 1, then again 8, and then again 5 itself. Now if you enumerate the indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So yes, we can easily do it. That is why we can do it by using this. So now the time complexity of the solution is big O of n. Why it is big O of n? But because for each number we are iterating on them exactly once. And for each number we are checking it if it is odd or even by using the modulo operator. So if after doing the modular operator, it is giving us the value 0, then it is given by, else it is given to 1. And this is the constant operation. So for each element, we are doing constant operation and we are doing it for every element. That is why the time complexity of this approach is big O of n. But the space complexity as we are using two vectors of size n by 2 and n by 2, that is why the space complexity of this approach is big O of n. But we are told that we need to do this in big O of 1. So now, if we need to do it in big O of 1 without using this, then we should think of something that we need to use variables to store the even and odd. So now, how many variables do we really require? So the number of cases we need to handle is just even and odd. So there are two cases. So if there are two cases, then at least two variables, if we write even and if we write odd, it would solve the purpose. And yes, it would solve the purpose. So now we can think of is that even number would iterate on the even indices and the odd number would iterate on odd indices. Now the problem would arise when even at the even position, suppose this is 0, 1, 2. So now suppose this is at this is E and this is odd. But here also the given value is 4 and here also the given value is 6. So in this scenario, there is no point in swapping the odd with even. Why? Because there is a breakdown at the odd position where there is not a breakdown at the even position. That is why there is no use of swapping here and we won't have a correct answer. So we need to think of something that means we would have a correct answer. The problem is occurring when there is no breakdown at the E position. So now we would think in this idea only that we would try to go into that position where there would be a breakdown. So, a breakdown at the even index means that it has odd value. A breakdown at the odd index means that it has an even value. So, if this is the scenario, suppose, suppose, he, the one team needs a boy and one team needs a girl. He has an extra boy, he has an extra girl. So, he would just exchange them. 
then the problem would be solved so the problem of this is the need of this and the problem of this is the need of this that is why it can be solved easily by exchange exchange is in the terms of swapping here so now what we would do is we would first iterate to the position of a problem in the event index and we would iterate on the problem on the odd index then we would stand here and then we would swap this and we would keep doing this till we reach at the end okay so now let us go to the implementation and you would understand it much better so now let us start the iteration so what we would do is we would have something known as odd is equals to one because the first position of odd is equals to one and even is equals to zero so initially they would point at odd and even so now we would say that while it is true and we would we would break this loop by default when we would reach the end of this okay fair enough now what we would do is while the even is less than n first we would check if it is within the boundaries or not else we would have index out of bound error itself then we would have the value and and then a of p modulo 2 it is even value if it has even then we would simply move forward that there is no problem here and the same thing would happen here also just we need to change this value that it should be odd and then odd modulo 2 is not equal to 1 that is odd is having the value 1 then odd would also increase by 2 because after 1 the odd value is 3 after 3 the odd value is 5 itself that is why we would go like this now if e is less than the boundary that is within the boundary and odd is also less than the boundary then what we would do is we would have swap the values a of e with a of the value itself else if this is not the condition then either of them is equal to or greater than n so we know that one value is now out itself so there is no so after that that won't occur any problem if that won't occur no any problem there is no point in swapping or seeing the other value that is why we would simply break from this condition now let us just compile and run and see if we are getting a correct output for the sample test case and yes we are getting a correct output for the sample test case now let us submit and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac that's it for today thank you and have a nice day